Question 26. It can be inferred from the passage that splatters and fields of formless color, line 64, were... Okay, let's look at line 64. Rather than splatters and fields of formless color, photorealists painted images of familiar objects and scenes of modern life. That doesn't really give us a lot of context, right? So let's go back to one sentence before. Photorealism was a movement born in the 1960s as a reaction against abstract expressionism. Rather than splatters and fields of formless color, photorealists painted images of familiar objects and scenes of modern life. Great. Okay, now we have the perfect amount of context to answer this question. So let's look at F. A reaction against the paintings of photorealism. Was that exactly a reaction against the paintings of photorealism? If we read the first sentence again, we see that photorealism was a movement born in 1960s as a reaction against abstract expressionism. So photorealism is the reaction. So that's not the answer. Let's look at G. Pollock's response to the fauvism of Matisse. Mm. That's kind of random. I mean, we don't see Pollock and we don't see fauvism of Matisse in those first two sentences, right? So let's move on. Let's look at H. Techniques used by Audrey Flack in her paintings. Okay, I remember seeing Audrey Flack in the passage, but she comes much later on, right? So that's not the answer. Let's look at J now. Elements present in abstract expressionist works. Let's go back to those first two sentences. We see photorealism was a movement born in the 1960s as a reaction against abstract expressionism. Rather than splatters and fields of formless color, photorealists painted images of familiar objects and scenes of modern life. There we have it. Splatters and fields of formless color represent the elements present in abstract expressionism. So Jay's our answer.